And before we go any further, here is a quick message from our sponsor, FreedomWorks. 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 It's not an exaggeration to say that DC liberals are So they're asking you to go to www.freedomworks, freedomworks, 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 freedomworks.org forward slash Lauren to tell Secretary Azar to fix patients, not prices. This would just be another layer of regulation, another layer of regulation, another layer of regulation in the healthcare system. One that would harm innovation and mean that new treatments and cures for medical conditions may never be discovered. But we can't touch them, you might be thinking. They're private businesses. So? And unless you're some sort of anarcho-capitalist, you'll accept that pretty much every industry in existence today operates with at least some sort of regulation. Operates with at least some sort of regulation. Some sort of regulation. Some sort of regulation. Some sort of reg 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 regulation. another layer of regulation in the healthcare system. One that would harm innovation and mean that new treatments and cures for medical conditions may never be discovered. You'll accept that pretty much every industry in existence today operates with at least some sort of regulation. In fact, the only reason that I think big tech has been able to skate by for as long as it has without regulation is because of the massive amount of money that they spend lobbying the government. But that's not capitalism. That's cronyism. I'm for small government, really, I am. But I still accept that restaurants shouldn't be able to serve people rotten food. That building contractors shouldn't make walls out of Play-Doh. That manufacturers shouldn't be able to dump toxic waste into our water sources. And that social media or other big tech companies shouldn't be able to interfere with our elections. And yes, that is really what this is all about. Anytime I've criticized social media censorship, I always get people who say, look, social media use is voluntary. If you don't like it, just don't use it. Oh, if it were that simple. Social media is dangerous not because certain users are being banned, but because certain viewpoints are being banned. And whether I personally choose to use social media or not, that is a problem for our democracy. People who don't believe in intervening against these big tech companies are by and large correct in fearing government overreach and big government in general. But they're wrong in failing to realize that just because these companies are privately owned, that doesn't mean they don't pose real threats to our individual freedom. Not wanting to regulate big tech because you value individual freedoms would be like not wanting to use a gun against an armed robber because you value safety. In theory, I get where you're coming from, but we're way past theory. It's true that we should fear totalitarian government because they have a monopoly on violence, but you know what they don't have a monopoly on? Invading your privacy, silencing your opinion, controlling your finances, and subverting democracy. Yep, big tech can and is currently doing all that too. I'm against big government because I don't like totalitarianism, but that doesn't mean that I'm just gonna accept totalitarianism from faceless giant mega corporations.